Hi and welcome to another Adobe Fireworks tutorial and in this one we're going to look at how we can separate uh, an image from its background or really remove the background from an image. So it's quite a, pro uh, a common problem when you're working with images to have the focus of your image at the front which you want to keep and then they might have things in the background or around them that you actually don't want to keep. So even though it looks like I've got a plain white background here, I haven't. What I've actually got is a, a slightly miscolored background and if I have anything other than a white page or a much page, it's going to show, well even on a white page you're going to see that the color doesn't match entirely and on a, on a black or another color page it would really, this, this area here would all stand out and it would look very very unprofessional. You can actually see, if I move the image slightly, you can see that I've set the canvas to be transparent. So if I have the background removed, all I should see is this grey and white pattern that, that denotes transparency. By the way, to do that, all I'll do is I'll double click on my canvas, properties bar changes, and I make sure that I select the red diagonal line that gives me transparency. So I'll move it back. So how do I get rid of the background? Well, sometimes it can be fairly straightforward. If you've got a fairly one colored background like this one, one with quite distinct shapes in the background, you can use the magic wand tool to, to help you. So if I just click on the magic wand tool and I'll show you what it does. If I now click somewhere, I'm gonna just change this value here. If I just click on my page, bang you can see what it's done it's kind of highlighted all the areas around my guitar player it's kind of worked out where the image begins and ends and separated that as a, as a, as a part of the object and if I press delete it removes that part of the background which is great but you can see that it's also taken the scratch plate of the guitar here which isn't so great we, we really don't want that bit being deleted so what we can do if we don't want that is we can adjust this value here which is called the tolerance and the tolerance basically is a value that, that decides how closely the magic wand tool will match the colors when you're using it so I'll show you what I mean if I adjust that value to 20 and then I click again you can see this time it hasn't included the scratch plate so I could delete that image there delete that background there and what I've got Actually, I've got this odd little bit at the top, which I'll delete as well. And what I've got there is now just a picture of the guitar player on his own. Now, what I'm going to just show you very quickly is the edge tool here. Now, the edge tool did, will give you, allow you to change what the edge of the image looks like after the the back bit's been removed, the background bit's been removed. So I can have a hard edge, which is as it sounds, it's just literally kind of as if it's been cut off suddenly. You've got anti-alias, which we talked about with the text tools, and that's kind of a way of smoothing it slightly. And the feather effect, which is a smooth, slightly artificial looking effect. And I'll show you, I'll show you what they each do. I'll show you certainly what feather does. If I click delete now, what that will do is that's giving you a feathered edge. And if I zoom in, you should see hopefully well, it's not particularly clear but I can change the the effect of the feather tool and what it basically gives me is a soft edge to my image uh, the only problem is sometimes it doesn't look particularly natural when I do that so I might not want to use that example um, if I want to use something that looks fairly acceptable and just a little bit smoother I'm going to use the anti-alias tool and then I'm going to delete that and then that bit's done. Now notice I'm also quite a lot using the magnification tool I mean, because there might be parts of the image there yeah, you can see that the magic wand tool hasn't picked up first time so there's this bit just between the gap between his arm and his body which I also need to remove because that would stand out and I can just delete that and that comes as well and then control minus to zoom back out again and then get rid of this area up here and I've now got an image without a background and to show you what that, what that art looks like if I select my background and I change the color of the canvas to black oops I've still got 
this little bit here you can see I've got an image and there the feathered edge actually the anti alias sorry looks a you can see the effect that that's had and what I could do if I wanted to is just remove that with an eraser tool or with any what's actually even easier with the marquee tool the marquee tool just allows me to select an area and just delete it all at once and that's quite useful if it's just a big block that you want to, of color or a big large area of the screen where you want to remove the object so that now looks a lot better you can imagine that sitting on the front of a magazine and it looks a little bit more professional than what we had before now the final thing that we would need to do then is resave this as an image we can't just if I just go file and save it'll set it I need to make sure that when I save it it's set not as a JPEG because a JPEG doesn't support transparency there's no you would just get the background back again well, you'd certainly not get the transparency recognized you would not get the background back but it would it would have an area of white around there as if you hadn't removed the background so what you need to make sure is that you go to file save as and I'm going to save it as a PNG portable network graphic which does support the transparency so if I call that one Johnny Marr and to show that I've edited it Johnny Marr transparent background and that's done so just to recap what we've learned in this video we've just learned what the magic wand tool is for we've learned how we can remove the background of an image and how the magnification tool can help us zoom in and identify areas as well that, that the tool hasn't picked up first time we know how to use the tolerance to change how closely the color matching happens and to allow us to adjust how sensitively it happens and we've also had a quick look at using the marquee tool to select larger areas of a screen uh, and of an image and delete those so have a go at removing the backgrounds from your images and don't forget at the end to make sure that you save them with a file format that supports transparency like PNG so I hope this video has been useful and good luck editing your own images.